Finish reviewing two. Strong board. Assembly. Five out of five. Versatility. Uh, the strong board is versatile in that you can do double leg balance, single leg balance, you can do seated balance, push ups, planks. The one drawback I found with the strong board is the lack of width in which you could stand on it. The width kind of locks you into this certain stance and you can't go any further. So you want to do a wider squat, you're unable to do it. So in terms of versatility, I'm going to give the strong board a four out of five. Fun. The strong board is definitely a fun way to challenge your neuromuscular system by providing a lot of proprioception. Oh, so check I this out though. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now, because I don't understand them, I'm gonna take them as disrespect. That's just a fancy way of saying it challenges the stability of your muscles and your joints in a unique manner that is different from any other board. So, in terms of fun, I'm gonna give the strong board a five out of five. Durability. The strong board is definitely durable. The platform solid, the bottom solid, the springs are definitely sturdy. I've had this for about two, two and a half years now. I've had people that weigh 200 plus pounds on it. I've jumped on it, I've dropped weights on it. Uh, the spring and the platform are just as sturdy as when it came out the box. So in terms of durability, I will give the strong board a five out of five. The price. That might be a little hard to digest. Especially if it's something that you're just adding to your home or studio gym. So you wanna think long and hard about how much use you're actually gonna get out of this thing before you fork over the cash. So in terms of price, I'm gonna give the strong board a three out of five. So overall, the strong board is easy to assemble because there is no assembly. It is fun, it's functional, it's durable. The only two drawbacks are the price tag and the fact that you cannot spread your feet out any more than this stance right here. So overall, I'm going to give the strong board a 22 out of 25. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you the next fitness review in two.